Hi there, this is Holly with Hollyland Imagery, and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to apply my Silky Skin Smoothing Action um, for Photoshop. Um, so what you see here in front of you is my original image, and what I've gone and done, I will turn on this retouched layer for you to show you that I've already made some minor adjustments, um, cleared up any blemishes, took care of a little bit uh, of you know the small bags under her eyes not that she has much uh, cleaned up a few stray hairs um, and so forth so anything um, that you want to spot heal or clone you want to take care of that before you run the action so um, I'll turn that off for you just so you can see there's some minor adjustments and then I'll turn that back on so I am going to highlight both of these layers and I'm going to do a command E to merge those down uh, into a background layer. I have my silky skin action highlighted here on my actions panel and I'm going to hit play. From here, it should bring up the action here for you in a new layer. So the layer itself should look gray. Your black layer mask should be highlighted and your blending mode should be linear light. All of that is correct. So what you are going to do now is take a brush, change it to white and make sure it is a soft round brush. We are going to increase the size here. Um, my opacity of my brush, I'm going to leave it 100% and I'm also going to leave my flow at 100%. And all I'm going to do is paint that on. So you can see a vast difference immediately. So just so you can see so far what we've got going on, you can see that it's been masked on and off and on. Big difference. Uh, so we will finish painting that on her face and then we are going to return to her beautiful freckles and any areas that we may need to mask off see how if i get close here to the edge you get a very defined line there we don't want that so i am going to command z here on my mac to pull that back off if you're not sure where you have applied uh, the mask, you can hit your backslash key and it will bring this up so I know that I have missed a little bit here. And paint that on. So off and on. All right, so now I'm going to zoom in a sketch, reduce my brush size, and I'm going to reduce my opacity to 20%. And then I'm also going to turn my brush to black. I'm going to come in here along the side to remove the little bit of distortion that we got along the edge here of her face a little bit along her jaw as well and then just for good measure around any other defining parts of her face especially around her eyes and just add a little bit of definition back in to her nose and then we're going to come in and tap these little freckles here to bring them back because we still want those to be defined. And then, you know, you really just do this to your taste. Got a cute little beauty mark there we don't want to forget about. And then the finishing touch, I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 70%. So off and on and we'll zoom back out and you're good to go so if i go back over to my histories panel and this is the original image and this is what we ended up with thank you so much